it's hard not to take notice at how much the spiritual community is growing right now and at such a rapid rate. And to me, honestly, it's a beautiful thing. But I want to say this, if nobody else ain't said it, y'all got to be very selective. Be very, very critical of who you allow to let lead and guide you on your spiritual path. Spirituality is not the same as religion. It ain't really no rules to this thing. We all got to walk our own way. Guidance is needed and it is very much appreciated whenever it's coming from the right place. Press on into, you know, what is eventually going to be the new norm for us, right? But spirituality is so much more than lighting a candle, crystals and gems and incense. And it's very obvious you can't go in damn near a grocery store without seeing a crystal, some sage. Hell, I can't even go on Walmart and buy incense anymore because everybody buying them up. <laughs> but it's so much more than saying words like vibe and energy and manifestation and my ancestors and dressing, you know, that goes with your uh, culture and your ancestry and things like that. Right now, spirituality is warfare. Your spiritual state of being is what is going to manifest into your physical. And as above, so below. This thing is life or death. Why do you think so many people around the world over the past few decades have been claimed by drug addictions, suicide, depression, mental instability? We just struggle. Stress is taken out. Hell, I work in the hospital. I have, I've worked on ambulances before. I've seen a 27-year-old man lose his life to having a heart attack. I ain't have no business having a heart attack and had no prior heart conditions. So it's really real. The illusion and the matrix that we've been living in has put a lot of pressure on us. That is why spirituality is so valuable, why it's so vital and important right now. I don't want nobody to get it misconstrued, you feel me? You got people who are jumping on the spiritual bandwagon and treating, you know, other people's spiritual state of being, being like it's a part of the damn gimmick. Spirituality is not a gimmick. This is going to be, oh, this is the way of life for a lot of us. And it is going to soon be the way of life for our children and those after us. And we got to set a solid foundation for us now and for those to come. And you can't be playing out here with nobody's lives. So what I need for y'all to do is be just as picky as you are about the person you let do your dental work. Be just as picky as you are about the person who does your hair, does your taxes, takes care of your kids, or anything else. You cannot put your livelihood in the hands of someone who is just throwing statements and, you know, just phrases that they hear around whenever they haven't actually taken the time to practice these things or gone through these types of spiritual experiences and provide you some type of factual assistance on your life's journey. Y'all be careful.